Okay, so let's solve a few examples of these uh, energy problems. So what we're doing in all of these problems is you're practicing writing down what the system is and then looking at what's coming in and out of the system and then drawing a bar chart that shows how the energy is before and after, right, the different types of energy. And then you're writing an equation that you can use to solve for something, right? Not solving anything, just writing the equation. Okay, so let's start with number one. This is like a really basic example. Um, spring launches a roller coaster from rest. Assume the system, the cart, the earth, the track, and the spring, right? So cart, earth, track, spring, everything is in my system, right? So cart, earth, track, spring. Okay, so let's do the graph first. So what type of energy does it start with? Okay, so it's not moving, so there's no kinetic. Um, it hasn't gone anywhere. I'm going to call this zero, right? So there's no height, so there's no gravitational potential. Okay, um, so there's elastic because that spring is scrunched up. So I'm just going to make up, call it four bars. So that's my elastic potential at the beginning, okay? And then afterwards, position B, now it's moving, right? And it's higher up. So the spring is let go, so there's no elastic. Uh, gravitational, yes, there is gravitational. And it's also moving, so there is kinetic, right? So um, there's no friction, right? Frictionless. Okay, good. So there's no heat. So I'm just going to say two bars and two bars. All right, so I had four bars here. Now i got two bars and two bars. So four equals four. Okay, so let's write my equation. So there's elastic. So... 1 half kx squared. And there's, on this side, there's kinetic and gravitational. So kinetic is 1 half mv squared plus gravitational is mg delta y. Okay? All right. So second example. Frictionless system still. Okay, so there's no heat. Cart, earth, track, but not the spring. Okay, so my system is this. So cart, earth track no spring i can't even spell okay well so at the end it doesn't change but at the beginning there's no spring right so at the end i'm going to stick with my four bars two and two right but okay so where did this energy come from well it had to come from work right so i'm going to represent that saying work came into the system right so here's my system the spring is outside so it's putting energy in in the form of work so my equation is going to be work equals, right? There's no kinetic, there's no gravitational. It's the same as this one, except I just took the spring out of the system. So 1 half mv squared equals, no, plus mg delta y, right? So work equals the kinetic energy plus the gravitational potential. Okay, so same system as problem one. So now, same system, that means everything's in the system. Now there's friction between the cart and the track. Ooh, okay. So I know I'm going to do the same thing, right? Because it says it's the same as one. So I'll start with four bars, right? I'm just making up four bars. It doesn't matter what you start with. So cart, earth, track, spring. And then afterwards, now I have friction, right? So if there's friction, there's going to be heat. So uh let's say it comes out of the kinetic because it'll be going slower so the gravitational i'll still say there's two right because it's still at the same height as my one before i had two bars here so i'll put two gravitational bars here but now i'm only going to have one for kinetic and one for heat so it's going to be going slower here because that friction is taking away some of the energy so write my equation half k x squared equals half mv squared plus mg delta y plus the heat. There we go. Okay, so let's try another one. So, load of bricks is rested on a tightly coiled spring is launched in the air. Assume the system includes the spring, the bricks, and the earth. So, spring, bricks, earth. Do the problem without friction, so there's no heat. All right. Uh, so, if it starts coiled up, and it says the height is zero, so there's no gravitational, right? Because it's calling this zero. So it's all elastic stored in the spring. So I'll just start with an even number. I'll start with four, right? So uh, what is it? Spring, bricks, 
Earth. And then at position B, it's above the ground, right? So it's got gravitational. Uh, it's moving, so it's got kinetic. And it's frictionless, so there's none of that. And the spring is already let go, so there's no elastic. So it's just between kinetic and gravitational. So I'm going to say three gravitational and one kinetic because it's high up, right? As long as it adds up. So one half kx squared equals one half mv squared plus mg delta y. Okay, repeat it with friction. So I'll do the same thing, right? And then spring bricks earth. Okay, so now there's friction. So that spring, when it lets go, it's going to produce some thermal energy, right? Because the molecule's moving around in the spring. So I'll take that out of the, I'll take that out of the gravitational. So kinetic, gravitational, and I got to have a block of heat. So one half k x squared equals one half m v squared plus m g delta y plus q. Okay. All right, so let's do this one. Repeat. So in this one, the system was the whole thing, right? So this one, I'm changing the system. Repeat 4A for a system that does not include the spring. So now, this is my system. So it's just bricks and earth. So it uh, didn't start with anything then, right? Because energy is going to have to enter the system as work, right? So I'm going to say work equals, and then at the end, same as 4a. So 4a it just became the height is greater than zero and the velocity is still greater than zero. So I got potential, right? I got potential and kinetic, gravitational potential. So we'll go three and one again. So it'll look like that. And then one half mv squared plus mg delta y.